Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Got something for you Genesis fans out there. Been a while since I did any Genesis and uh, talking to a couple of my students that said they how they'd love to learn some early Genesis. Not always an easy thing. A lot of the songs were written uh, predominantly keyboard, but this song, Entangled, it uh, it was a cla I, I loved it when it came out on the Trick of the Tail album. Steve Hackett playing the guitar on this. The thing I loved about when I saw Steve Hackett play it, he was actually playing when he did it live the majority of the time. He was playing it on a Gibson Les Paul. So um, that's why I don't feel too bad here playing it here on my Music Man Axis. Little plug there. Uh, it is a great song. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the cameras in close because there's quite a bit of movement going on here. So we're going to take it stage by stage and I'm going to show you how to play Entangled by Genesis. So don't go away. Preview. So what I want to do is show you one of the main themes uh, that Steve Hackett uses for this song. Uh, what you're actually going to be playing, let's go across, you've got to put your first figure across, five on the B, and five on the E. And you're going to put your second finger on sixth fret on the G. Your little finger is going to take up position on seventh fret on the B. So you're actually covering this, but it will become clear why as we play through. And your third finger is going to be playing the B, so on seventh fret on the low E string. And to start off, you're going to pick the 7 on the B and the 7 on the low E together. Then we're going to play an open D string and then 6 and 7. So you're going to just lift this little thing. The reason I'm doing this, this is kind of a set place for it to be. You're going to spend a lot of time in this, but for the first part you take this 7 with that open D and then you're going to do 6-7, so you're using the 6 that you're already fretting and you're using your little finger to play 7 on the G. And then because you've exposed 5 fret on the B string with your finger in place, you're going to hit that. Then you go back to the open D string and then you're going to play 6 on the G string and then 7 with your little finger back on the B. So we would get this. And you're obviously going to let each one of these notes ring out as well. And from there we go back to the open D string. And we're going to do this 6, 7 again on the G. And then 5 on the B. Lift your little finger. You're going to play open D string to the 6 on the G. So let me do that very, very slowly for you. So that's your opening bar. Now after that, you never play that bar again. So let's look at bar number two, which is the main theme for this. We continue to play this. So we're going to start off, we've got the same shape there, you're going to play 7 on the B and 7 on the low E at the same time. Then open D, then we play this 6, 7, going to 5 on the B, and then 7, 6 back on the G. Then 7 on the low E, and we take off our first finger and we're going to play 0, 7, 0, 6. First finger then goes to 5 on the high E, open B string and back to the 6 on the G string. So again, let me do that slowly for you.
Now he plays that theme pretty much throughout the opening stages. So we're going to play that bar six times. Now, two of them are an intro bar. That's important to remember that because when we go back and play a game, we are not playing it as many times. So we're playing through that standard bar. Then we come to the seventh bar. And this time what we do, we play a shorter version. So we play... So all I'm playing is the opening part, the 7-7. Seven, seven. I play the open D. Then I play this 6-7. Going to the 5. And then I do the 7-6 on the G. Now we move down to a G chord. So I start off on the 3rd fret on the G, 2nd on the A, open D, open G, back to open D, then I'm going to pick up 3 on the B, to open G, to open B. Now we're going to move our bar, our first finger acts as a bar on 4th fret and we are going to put our 3rd finger on 6th fret on the D and our 2nd finger on 5th fret on the B. And we're going to play 4th fret on the low E to D string, 6th fret, 4th fret using the bar on the G and then 5th fret on the B and back to the D string and back to the G string, so we get. Now, he plays that through in one bar, so let me just play the whole bar together. almost that main shape, but we're only going to be using third fret on the, uh, sorry, I'm going to be using third finger on seventh fret on the low E. I'm putting my second finger on that position on six on the G. But I leave all the other strings open, but I'm only going to be hitting the E string, the D string on sixth fret, and then open E string. And we're going two, three, Times. Then he's back into and he plays that section four times. After the four times, we go back to this pre chorus section, which is that G. chord position that we're going to play through. So let me show you that. So that is one bar and he plays that five times. So let me show you what the actual finger placings are. Third finger, sorry, little finger is on fourth fret of the low E. I've then got third fret on the G string. I do open B string. First finger plays second fret on the high E string, back to the B string, and then on the G string. And we repeat that again for the bar. And we have got five bars of that. Now the next section, when Steve Hackett plays this, there isn't a lot that he's actually doing. This is where the other guitars, because you've got two other guitars that are playing in the background on this. Tony Banks and uh, Mike Rutherford are playing 12 string guitars, just playing little melody lines behind that, which we will have a look at later in the lesson. But on this part now, he's just playing this figure as we lead into the chorus now. We're on the downward side of the pre-chorus. Thank you. 
So he's just got one bar of that. And what we're playing is six on the D string, to four on the B, back to six on the D, to seven on the B. He just plays that whole line twice. So let me show you the next part as we build into this last section, I promise you, almost last section before the chords hit. So let me play it through and I'll break it down. So I'm playing two on high E, three on the B. I'm going E to the B string, back to the high E. B to an open E to B back to a high E and I repeat and I finish on that high E. Now we're at the last bar before the strumming section. Let me just play it through. similar to the opening line but we're playing it down here on second fret so we do second fret high E open D string then I do two hammer on to three on the B string to open E back to the D and then I got two on the B and then we repeat you take that real slow Finally, we're into the chorus section, where life gets a little bit easier for us playing the guitar on this part. So let's have a look at the chorus. And the chorus strumming section is very easy. We're playing down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And that's the same strum pattern all the way through. So we start off with one bar of D, which we just played through. go to a B minor, two counts, one, two, and then back to the D for the three and four count, three, four, back to the B minor for again two counts, one, two, back to the D for the last two. Now we've got a fairly quick change, we're going to be changing on every count of the bar. So we start off with an E minor, one, to a C, to an E minor, to a B. Let me just play so far what we've got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Last part. B major chord for that last count of the four on the bar. Four. And then we go down to an A chord. One, two, and then to an E major chord. Three, four. And then we repeat the whole section all over again. And from there, we go back to another verse, which is playing through that. Play that three times, then we go into the G cook section. Then, and from there, we then go straight into from there into that. And straight back into another chorus. So once we play through the chorus for the second time, we come out of that and we are then into the keyboard solo 
performed by Tony Banks. So now we will look at the keyboard solo section by Tony Banks. So I'll just play through the various sections and then I'll break them down stage by stage. First of all, we'll look at a section that's called the interlude, which is, I would say the transition, but it's the breakdown between the chorus and the song, and then going into the section with Tony Banks on the keyboard. Now, what we're just playing this, actually, is just over an E chord. So we're just going to take the finger and a four on the G, five on the B, and four on the high E string. But we're going, string-wise, we're going... G, B, G, E, G, B, G, B, G, E, G, B, G, B, G, E, G, B, G, B, G, E, G, E. And of course, if you download the tablatures, you'll be able to see that. And he moves down to the D chord, and we do the same pattern. So we get this G, B. But then he stops short and he finishes on the second fret on the G string, just holds that. And that gives you enough time to move into the next position, which is a position that we played previously. But this time I play with a different finger because I'm gonna need this first finger. So we're playing four on the E, and then we're going across to three on the G string, open B, and two on the high E. And we're playing E string, G, B, E, B, G. And he plays this a lot longer than the actual section I showed at the beginning. Then he lifts the finger off so we get this open E string, but he plays then as a series of 60 notes. So we get this. So he's just playing open E and then playing G, B, E, B, G, B, E. So we play it just a little, so we played it twice as fast. Then you put your first finger on second fret and the low E. And then back to, do that again. And then he goes back to just playing that again a lot longer than what I did on the little preview section. And from there, he goes to, it's, it's a similar position that we're playing that we opened up with. You've got your second finger on the seventh fret of the low E string, and we've got this time our first finger on sixth fret on the G string. And what we're gonna play is play them two notes together. Then we go to the open B. Then we go to seven on, the, so you do six on the G to seven on the B on the G. Back to six. And then we put our little finger, you can put your third finger, I prefer my little fingers and leave it there permanently. And we're going to play open B and seven on the high E. So we get this.
and then he'll lift his second finger up and play the same motif but this time with an open E string. And then places it back down. And it will play that out to the finish. All the time, Tony Banks playing that beautiful guitar, wrong, Tony Banks <laughs> playing that beautiful piano keyboard solo that he did for Entangled. So we have covered all of the sections to Entangled. There's a lot to do, but it is a really gorgeous song to play. Now, I do have the tablature that I have worked through in all the sections that you can download by visiting my website. All the information links will be down in the description. I would advise you to have the tablature. I'm just saying that just for you to go to my website, but really to work through this song, you need the tablature in front of you, then you can see all the positions that you're playing through and all the different moves that you've got to do. Now, I didn't include a backing track for this. I've, I've looked at it, but there were so many just different guitar lines going on, and of course, uh, the keyboard sort at the end. I thought I'd keep it fairly focused on what Steve Hackett does. I know when he plays this live now, he just has a keyboard player. He, he does all the guitar parts that we've just gone through, and he has a keyboard player with sampled sounds. So once you've learned it this way, you pretty much are playing it the same way that Steve Hackett does now when he plays live. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this song. Uh, it makes a difference uh, just playing some Genesis here. I always enjoy that. If you do find it useful, don't forget, click on that subscribe button. It's always nice to get some positive feedback. Of course, whenever I'm posting any new video, then you'll be informed by YouTube. Well, I am going to let you go now. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to your company again. Until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>